Looking for a private, secure, and powerful alternative to Google Drive or Dropbox? In today's video, we are diving into Nextcloud in 2025. Its pros, cons, and some of the coolest new features you might have been missed. Let's get started. What is Nextcloud? Nextcloud is an open source, self-hosted cloud platform that lets you store, access, and share files, just like Google Drive, but with full control over your data. Whether you are hosting it on your own server or using a managed provider, privacy and customization are the heart of Nextcloud. Pros of Nextcloud. Number one, we have privacy first design. You are in control. Your data isn't scanned for ads or stored on third party servers. Ideal for individuals and businesses that value data sovereignty. Number two, tons of integrations. Nextcloud Hub 6, released in early 2025, brings tighter integration with tools like OnlyOffice, Collabora, and even video conferencing via talk. Think of it as Google Workspace, but yours. Advanced features, file versioning, end-to-end -end encryption, calendar and contact syncing, project boards, notes, and more. It is not just cloud storage, it's a productivity suite. Mobile and desktop apps, solid apps for iOS, Android, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Real-time sync works smoothly and reliably. New features in 2025. Number one feature, we have Smart AI. Powered by local LLMs, you can now search across files, messages, and emails intelligently without leaking data to cloud AI models. Improved talk 2.0. Next to Cloud's video chat tool now supports breakout rooms, live captions, and external invites. Better performance. Faster loading dashboards and lower memory usage for large file libraries and enterprise setups. Cons of Nextcloud. Now, we all know that nothing is perfect. And for the cons, number one, we have it requires setup. It does not plug and play like Google Drive. You will either need to self host, which means server setup and maintenance, or pay for a managed provider. Number two, occasional bugs. With its rapid development cycle, small bugs do slip through, especially with third party extensions. Performance depends on server. If your server is slow or your internet isn't strong, file access and sync may lack compared to big name cloud providers. Final verdict. Now, if you value privacy, control, and customization, next to cloud is hard to beat in 2025. It's ideal for tech savvy individuals, small businesses, and organizations looking for a powerful cloud workspace without handing data over to big tech. But if you want simplicity and hands-off operation, it might not be the best fit. So what do you think? Is Nextcloud your next cloud? Let us know down below in the comments. And that's all for today's video. If you find it helpful, please don't forget to support us with like, subscribe to the channel, leave us a good comment, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and goodbye.